In this tutorial we take a closer look at the automation features in Logic Pro. First let's select the region and turn on loop mode, then solo the track and enable automation by pressing A. Press Z to zoom in. Several new menus will appear in your track headers. By default Logic offers volume as the first adjustable parameter. Here you can switch between track and region automation, turn it on and off. Logic Pro has several automation modes such as Read, Touch, Latch and Write. In this tutorial we will focus on Read and Touch. Here you can find automation parameters. We will use Synthesizer's Cut-Off as a destination. Now let's go back to the main window. You can create control points by clicking the automation curve. Click anywhere to create a new point and drag it to change the value. There are different ways to shape these curves. You can press T to choose Curve Tool or hold Ctrl Shift and drag your mouse to create non-linear curves. You can select a point and hold Ctrl to move it straight up or down or hold Shift to move it to the left or to the right. This is useful if timing is important. Hold Option key to select multiple points and backspace to delete them. To make a specific selection along the timeline Hold Command key to activate Marquee tool. Drag your mouse and click on the selection to create new points. This way you can create sharp transitions or turn on and off plugin parameters. You can go to Mix menu to delete all the automation data on this track. Next, let's explore Touch mode. Press I to open Inspector and click on the plugin. Touch mode allows you to write automation as you listen to your track. To do this, hit spacebar to start playback, grab your fader, pan pod or plugin knob and begin adjusting as the track plays. As you adjust a knob or fader, you'll see automation being written onto your track. This way you can create more natural curves, because you're doing it by hand while listening to the track. After you can adjust curves by clicking and dragging points. Now let me show you alternative way of creating automation that can save you a lot of time. Let's go to Inspector, click on MIDI Effects slot to choose Modulator plugin. The Modulator plugin is split into two, with the LFO section on the left and the Envelope section on the right. This plugin offers some exciting ways to add movement to your music, let's find out how. We are going to focus on LFO section of this plugin. Here you can choose from familiar waveforms like sine and triangle. Also you can adjust symmetry slider that alters the shape of the waves. The trigger selector allows you to choose different behavior of the LFO cycle. You can change the rate of LFO and synchronize it to the project tempo. You can adjust the resolution of the output data so it's not a perfect slope but is stair stepped via the step slider. You can play around with output level and offset sliders and see how it affects the LFO on the display. The envelope section can be used alone to modulate parameters in conjunction with the LFO or can be used to modulate the LFO itself. Let's go to Inspector and open Synthesizer plugin. Now let's see how we can use this LFO to modulate plugin parameters. Click Modulators 2 menu and select Learn Plugin Parameter. Now let's click on the filter knob of the Synthesizer. To assign it as a destination for our LFO. As you can see it started moving. After you can go back to the modulator to adjust parameters of the LFO. Logic's MIDI plugins often get overlooked. However, it can be immensely useful in reshaping the sound of a MIDI instrument. Being a MIDI plugin, modulator can only be used on MIDI tracks, but it can be used to control pretty much any parameter of any plugin inserted below. Automation is a great tool that you can use to bring otherwise static elements to life, so give it a try and see how it can help you.